Welcome to Halogen Training Level 100 Lesson 103. In this lesson you will learn how to use more tools in the processing workspace. Equalizer, limiter and the control page designer. We've finished the last lesson routing two signals to all your four zones in the system. Now it's time to EQ and limit the output for the best performance of your in-ceiling speakers. In the DSP tab under Filters, choose Parametric EQ and drag it near the outputs of the zone processor. Under Dynamics, find Limiter, drag and drop it near the PEQ block. Delete all four wires between the zone processors and the outputs. Wire the PEQ and Limiter blocks between the first zone processor and the respective output block. Select the PQ and the limiter blocks, including the wires, copy, then paste three times. With all blocks aligned, Halogen will automatically make the connections for you. Let's start setting the equalization in the restrooms area. Double-click on the parametric EQ to open its properties dialog. In the lower section, click to show you table view, listing all the filter parameters. It starts with a low cut, 12 dB per octave, second order, Butterworth set at 40 Hz. A similar high cut is set to 16 kHz. Cut filters are useful to limit bandwidth to loudspeakers and reduce wasted power. A single parametric filter set to 160 Hz with a half an octave bandwidth is provided by default. Up to 15 filters are available per PEQ block. Each one has adjustments for frequency, gain and bandwidth, as well as a bypass function. The block will update to show the number of filters, thus a PEQ with 3 bands will show parametric EQ per 3. Since restrooms do not likely have subwoofers and have very reflective walls, adjust low cut to 120 Hz and high cut to 10 kHz. These values will provide very good performance. Similar settings can be applied to each of the zones, taking into account prevailing acoustic variables in each area. After finishing adjustments, double-click limiter to view its properties dialog. By default, threshold is set to minus 6 dB full scale and auto mode is enabled. Use limiters for protection of drivers and to keep sound system levels always in check. To see your entire system, press fit in the bird's eye view on the lower left corner of the screen. Zoom in and out using minus and plus to change the view in steps. Drag and move the bird's eye view to get you to a specific area of the processing map quickly. It's very beneficial to rename all blocks connected in each zone. Save time and avoid spelling mistakes by copying the name and pasting into other blocks. Easy. Well done! Your signals are now distributed, equalized and have limiters and all blocks in all areas are named and aligned. Most importantly, it sounds great, but the crowd in the garden is too loud and the game fans want to hear the commentator. How can we provide independent control for each zone and provide better DSP experience to customers with halogen? Easily! If this is your first time, we're delighted to present you our very best seller. A 7-inch color LCD touchscreen, the DR6. DR6 is a digital remote fully customizable designed to control all members of the Halogen DSP family. It supports multiple pages and tabs, configurable levels, toggles, selectors and commands to allow the end user to control everything. Per user security is provided, enabling operators to enter passwords, thereby determining what controls will be available. And even the company logo, background images and the service provider phone number may be shown on the DR6. Wonderful! Go to the button Control System in the central part of your workspace and open the Control Page Designer. The same page design in this workspace can be accessed by any web browser if the processor is connected to the Wi-Fi. But in this lesson, we will focus on the DR6. At the lower left corner for Outline option, this marks the viewable area of the DR6. Tip! Any controls outside the DR6 area will work normally and can be viewed and used by any web browser. This option provides some controls only to the DR6 and all controls to the web page. On the left, click on Controls tab. Press plus to create a new level control called Level 1. Drag and drop it to the blank area. Click on the yellow word Level 1 to open the label settings. Name it Garden Volume as this is very familiar to end users. If the text is too wide, drag the top or sides of the text frame to fit the name on the screen as appropriate. This label name will be shown on the DR6 screen. 
but you still need to name the level control in order to identify it inside the system. Rename it Garden Level Control. This might be simple for a four zone configuration, but think about a big hotel with specific areas such as ballroom 3, floor 2, and so on. Now it's time to connect the slide control to a level block. This process is called linking. Right beside the garden level control, you can see a little symbol that looks like a chain link. If the symbol is gray, it indicates that this control is not linked yet. Let's create a link to connect the level control on the DR6 to the level block inside Halogen. Drag the control page designer to one side so you can access zone processors on the map. Double click the garden zone processor then open the level block. Click on the chain link beside the garden level control on the control page designer and drag it into the chain link beside the level control inside the block. Notice when dragging the link all available targets are highlighted indicating possible choices. Halogen will ask you if you want to create a link. Name it garden level link. Complex systems cannot be managed when default names are used, so name your links always. To test if your garden volume control is working, even before purchasing the DR6, move the green arc in the level block. As the dB value changes, the slider and control page designer will move. Done! This proves the link is functioning. You can confirm the link with the web browser. At the top of the control page designer window, click on preview page. A web browser will launch and a page will appear. If you don't like the size of the control, it can be modified. Delete the slider, change the default control size and drag it again back onto the page. Controls can also be resized by dragging on top, bottom and sides, but the default size affects buttons and arrows significantly, so check results by trying different settings. Tip: The link remains unchanged even after a control is deleted and modified. To get that wow effect, customize the page with a background image and the company's logo. Go to the Elements tab, click on the plus beside the picture to import an image onto your garden control page. Double click on the image, set the size and arrange the position. Push the image to the background by clicking on the layering button. Voila! Your page is now controlling the system, all end users will notice the flowers matching to the garden and will give a good feedback about their DSP experience. Customer satisfied, money coming in, everyone happy! The bar is getting busier and the owner decides to expand the system to host DJs and bands on Fridays and Saturdays. How can you add more inputs and outputs to have a subwoofer and a PA array over the lounge? Simple, with the RAT 16Z, but this is subject for the next lesson 104. Thanks for watching Halogen Level 100 Lesson 103. Subscribe to our channel, comment and participate with questions and suggestions. This is Augusto Marcondes from InMusic Company, your Halogen Training Tutor.